Well, we both teach. Mm -hmm. I am an artist in residence at uh, Bowling Green State University. And wherever I've been, I've had a private studio as well. Um, and I think I started teaching in my late 20s. So it's been, it's been many years for me teaching and developing my process. Um, my philosophy behind singing is that there are three major components, and that's the body, which is the instrument, the breath, which is the fuel, and the sound, which is the final objective. And to have this healthy approach for reproducing sound that you can then apply to any genre. It's like, I don't teach jazz singing, I don't teach classical singing, I don't teach R&B and pop, I teach singing. And, and to develop the voice so that you can then apply it to whatever you'd like, whatever music suits you and suits your voice so that you're doing it healthfully and you'll be able to maintain for the rest of your life doing the kind of music that you like to do, whether it's building or repairing or maintaining, right? But it's the, it's the care, the care of the voice, kind of like you know, tilling the garden, and then you get to make whatever food you want to make with the food that you grow. So that's kind of my, my philosophy, and, you know, both solo singing and ensemble singing. They're, they're both important to me, and that you are honest and sincere and authentic with whatever you put out there, that you do have something to say, and you have a heartfelt human message that comes through in the music, and is useful to other people that it's not it's not just for you that it's for the listener as well and and you complete this circle that I think music is I teach privately on the side and I also affiliated with Manhattan School of Music Peter and I and Theo Bleckman actually who I'm sure are familiar with uh, the three of us sort of tag team a bit, uh, working with the very small vocal grad, vocal jazz grad program they have up there. Um, and my focus when I'm working with students, especially in a situation where I'm tag teaming with Peter and Theo, we all kind of bringing slightly different things to the, the table, um, I'm sort of the, I'm the instrumentalist who sings. And so people who work with me know that I'm going to be really coming at them with that aspect and a lot of times vocalists meant for many vocalists that might be one of the weaker areas for them in terms of they've been working more with the idea of line technique breath uh, telling the story with the lyric but oftentimes they might not have as vast a vocabulary from a harmonic standpoint and the way instrumentalists work on improvising and the lines and, and all of that sensibility uh, that, it, that is sort of innate with playing trumpet or saxophone or piano in the jazz setting. Uh, vocalists sometimes need a little encouragement and prodding and also and tough love sometimes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's kind of my role. Uh, and it's interesting, like I know a lot of in vocalists who have gone and specifically studied with an instrumentalist with that in mind. In my case, I'm sort of a hybrid where they're working with somebody who's in who obviously really understands what it's like to sing this stuff, but really came at it from studying it on the horn. And so uh, I'm kind of pushing them Which in that direction. Which is why we're so lucky. We're lucky to have <laughs> We all learn. Continue learning. So.